Good morning and welcome to the new house. So today we are hanging out at the house. We have a number of deliveries coming and we do not have our furniture yet. Like our regular household goods are being delivered this weekend. But there were a couple areas where I needed to order like a new couch. We got a new TV for downstairs and all of those things happened to be arriving today. So I thought it'd be a fun day to vlog and you guys can start to see things starting to change around here. Although some of the big transformations like all the painting we're going to do, changing out light fixtures and all that, that'll happen a number of weeks later after we start to get moved in. But welcome to Minnesota. <laughs> welcome to our house here. We are enjoying it. We have been in here for about four days and we just have temporary living going on right now, air mattresses and all those fun things. Um, but I'll give you a little sneak peek of what we have going on today, a little mini tour around, and talk about some of the things that we're planning on doing around the house. So as you can see, there's really no furniture in here right now. We are planning on doing a lot of painting, um, lightening up a lot of these areas. I'm planning on going with like a crisp linen color, just kind of a really nice, um, a little bit deeper than a white, but um, a neutral color that will just hopefully brighten up the whole space. And planning on taking that around in most of the rooms, but we've got the kitchen over here. We really like these cabinets. If you watch our vlogs at our other house, these cabinets actually look a lot like the cabinets that we had at the other house. Uh, it was very reminiscent of that. It's a different configuration, um, but about the same amount of cabinet space and everything because I've got my longer drawers here in the island where I can put all of my different things. Like I had my towels and stuff in there. Our silverware has not arrived because it's on our household goods tray, but I started getting all of these really nice organization things from Amazon so I can start getting the different areas organized and then just drop the items in when they get here. I have a pots and pans set arriving from Amazon later, hopefully today or tomorrow. Um, so then we can start cooking in the house. And um, yeah, so there's lots of drawers down here and good amount of storage space. So that's awesome. And then over here, it's a little bit of a different layout than what we've had before. I like these doors because they like go all the way up. I think that's interesting that they go up the whole distance. But we've got a great amount of storage space on this side of the house. There's a coat closet, which we'll be putting like our coats and stuff in here when they get here. And then over here is actually like a storage pantry. And this is where we will put some of our like back storage of food and stuff. And like all of our kind of extra household goods like toilet paper and stuff like that. And um, I gotta remember that there's not auto on and off lights. There's a bathroom right there. Um, and so what we're thinking is if I put the dishes in these cabinets, then I'll be able, we'll be able to use this as like kind of a quick grab and go pantry. So that's the idea for the kitchen. Uh, but today we have, I got rid of all the couches. I donated those to family that could use them before we left Alabama. So I got a sofa bed couch from Macy's. I was looking at Lazy Boy, but their delivery times was like six to eight months. And I was like, I'm not waiting six to eight months. So I have a couch coming today that's hopefully going to go right here. So I'm planning on decorating the room in blues and grays and taupes and all of those sorts of colors that I like. And this is from Wayfair actually. Um, and so I don't know if you can quite see the pattern of this chair, but this is a recliner that I got off of Wayfair. I really liked it. I actually originally saw it on Macy's and then um, they said that they could not get it delivered. So I ended up finding it real quickly at a different site. Uh, but I really like the pattern. I like that it combines all the different blues and everything that I like. So I'm planning on putting that reclining chair over here and then that new couch over there. And then I've also got to order some new furniture for downstairs. I'm actually going to order it today so it hopefully gets delivered. We really like watching movies downstairs. So this is going to be like our theater room. And this just got delivered from Amazon today. So we're going to use this as like our main theater TV. It's a little bit bigger than our TV that we had before. So this is going to be like our theater room over here. So we're going to put the big TV on this wall. We're going to get all this repainted, different colors, and then do like theater chairs down this side of the wall right here. So that is the plan. So we're starting to get things delivered and in. And then over here, I think we're going to make this doll central 
Oh my gosh, it's so horrible. You can see we've been outside in the sun the past couple of days and I've got an Apple Watch line. But all in all, things are going well. We're just waiting on our furniture, which we'll be sharing that once our things start arriving and we start scrambling to figure out where everything is going to go. But uh, we've been enjoying settling in and continuing to explore the area. We've been doing school tours the past few days. We've found a school for both the girls. We're working on getting them enrolled. They're both super excited about it. And um, there's a lot of focus on arts and the sciences there. So they're gonna be super excited to be able to focus on some of their favorite things. Um, and school starts for them actually next week. So I've got to start doing school supply shopping. They are gonna be wearing uniforms. So we gotta go get all over your, their uniform items. So lots of craziness still to come, but we're just gonna work with this couch getting delivered here shortly. And then we'll probably go uniform shopping here later. So while I'm waiting on the delivery folks to get here, I'm going to go upstairs and finish doing my makeup. And this is gonna be my office. <laughs> As you can see <laughs> in my like makeshift setup area we have these mattresses that we set out here to inflate and those are going to go to their rooms so they can use those they've been using air mattresses but I like how much light there is there's a big bank of windows there there's this big window right here and I've got lots of wall space for all my shelves and everything and again I want a lighter color in here um, this color is you know it's an interesting taupe color but I think we're just gonna do like a little bit brighter color just to lighten everything up. And here's like a dark gray. So again, we're just gonna try to lighten everything up. So after I order the theater furniture for downstairs, then I'm gonna order the furniture for up here. Because if you missed it in prior vlogs, we had to get rid of their furniture or our bedroom furniture because it didn't quite fit because of these insets. We do love this inset though, because this is going to be, I think we're going to try to find someone to do custom shelves up here. And then we're going to have Penguin's doggy bedroom down there, so that's going to work out great. I'm going to go finish doing my makeup. So I got my makeup done, I'm going to curl my hair because it says that they're still like 10 minutes away on the tracking thing. And I have quite a bit of organization to do in the bathrooms. So we had like these towers that went up and we're actually talking about putting it in this bathroom. But this has like a regular vanity and it has the space to put the tower in between but it's not currently there. So we lost like all that shelf space that was kind of up on the sides for us. Um, and primarily it was me that used it, <laughs> just to be honest. So um, I think that that's probably a project that we're going to do is to redo this bathroom. But that'll be like, you know, probably realistically months and months down the road because we've got to find someone to do it and all the materials and you know how that goes right now. So um, organizing, organizing the countertop is like priority one and then um, figuring out what we want to do long term to kind of change the space will be like our next step. So I have all kinds of organizers coming. I'm going to do like an organization thing here and I got organizers for like underneath and stuff. So I just got to try to work on configuring this space but I can work on this when the girls are even in school so this is kind of like a lower priority because getting them their school supplies now is a pro top priority um, and their uniforms and all of that. So you can see the vanity like we used to have like a like shelves that would go up and so we don't have those here and so then I've ended up with you know I used to keep like all my perfumes and all of that sort of stuff would be what would sit over on those shelves. Okay so we officially have something to sit on which is exciting so this doesn't make sense right now because obviously the wall is purple and it kind of goes with the purple because they're both like jewel tones but anyhow um, we're going to be doing more blues and taupes and hello penguin. He was in Isabella's room, so this is his first time seeing the couch. It was very exciting because we have somewhere to sit now. And the great thing is this opens up into a bed, so we'll have extra sleeping space in addition to the extra bedroom downstairs um, in case you know anyone comes to visit and they want to sleep in this area. Um, and then this will be put together. Dan's going to have his tools to be able to put this together. The back just like drops on. And um, I think it's going to come together nicely. So once we get a step stool from Amazon, I'm going to change out these curtains. Um, these were just the ones that came at the house, all of these. And then I, I like the, this quatrefoil print. These are actually ones that I got to put up and test. It's like this really nice linen with a quatrefoil print on it. So I've got a whole bunch of these over here. 
and I'm planning on doing the sage in here because the sage and the blue should go together nicely and this chair I'm thinking should hopefully tie everything together. You really can't see anything. You'll see it eventually in the vlogs. So it's all coming together, which is great. <laughs> Penguins over here making all the sound effects in the background. <laughs> I feel like every time we're vlogging, we have lunch at Panera, but we're having lunch at Panera again today. I promise we've eaten other places. I just haven't been vlogging those days. So it seems like we eat at Panera every day. <laughs> uh, yesterday we had Chick-fil-A for lunch. Um, but we are looking forward to having a table in our house, which is gonna be quite delightful because it'll be easier to eat at our house as well. Um, and I think I just pulled in a huge box from Amazon right before we left the house And I think that that was our cookware. So that will also help tremendously to have pots and pans um, So we're gonna go in and grab lunch real quick and then we're gonna go Uniform shopping something new that we have never done the kids need polos in different colors depending on their grade um, for school and then they also have to wear either like khaki bottom short skirt pants or like a back like a black twill um, short skirt pants that sort of thing so we are gonna go start shopping for that and um, <laughs> they're really excited the that we wanted to get in there. yay they're very excited um, so we got her acceptance yesterday and got everything started. We got Natalie's acceptance this morning and we're gonna get everything started. I was and so happy that I was squeaking and yelling over and I think you were on the basement, you could hear me. Yes, she was very squeaky. She was very excited and very squeaky. So I think it's gonna be a great fit. I think they're gonna have a great school year and we're excited to kick it off. So we have all of the school supplies back here. The kids got these two pillows. Natalie picked out the purple one and Isabella picked out a gray and they're like a soft Sherpa that they can sit against and read. So they're gonna use these in their new rooms. I'm just gonna hand these out so she can take it up there. There you go. And then we have their stuff divided down. There's one of Isabella's uniforms. They really didn't have too much uniform wise. So we're gonna go, I think, to Kohl's and look and see if they have uniform stuff there. But she's got all of her folders in here. They had to have a sketchbook. They had to have standard stuff like colored pencils, um, pencils, scissors. Um, I think really the biggest unusual thing, they had to get Expo markers. And then I think this one is Natalie's. I think the most unusual thing that they both needed this year was Texas Instruments calculators. They both needed one of those, so we got two of the same thing. So they're both getting older, so they're starting to use calculators. Isabella wanted these really cool kind of pastel -y with interesting colors. Sharpie highlighters. What else do we have down in here? Some more earbuds. Glue sticks, we're gonna split those up between them. They have to have post-its. All kinds of good stuff. A little sketchbook. So, um, yeah. We got all kinds of good stuff down in here. Isabella, I think, had to have like six or seven folders and notebooks. And Natalie had to have like four or five. And then other than that, we just got some Gatorade. And I got tea. So we're going to take all this stuff inside and then go search for school uniforms a couple more places. We are going to run into Kohl's real quick to look for uniform pieces. And the neat thing about the Kohl's up here is most of them have this fours inside, which is super handy for okay, me. Okay, we are back. So we got a couple more school supplies items. Isabella needed what she's calling her kid briefcase for one of her classes. Penguin's got to inspect everything. And then we got a couple uniform items at Kohl's. So they wanted these cozy sweaters so they could put those over their uniform. And then we got a couple polos and a khaki skirt. So we're gonna put all of these things aside to start getting their uniform stuff sorted out. So Dan's over here putting together bar stools. It's after dinner now and the kids are in bed. I'm putting up the curtains. So these ones in the middle are the ones that I picked out. I'm taking down the ones at the top. And I'm going to take down those over there. Penguin's breaking in the couch over here. And I have these, which is like a sage color, but you really can't tell because it's dark in here right now. And for a later project, all these light fixtures 
I want to change out pretty much every single one because that makes such a huge difference but everything in due time one thing at a time and curtains are easy and quick to change out so we'll do those first. So we'll be sharing more updates as we go along and there's a lot of projects all over the house but we will get to them one by one and just kind of share what they look like before and after. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.